Hey y'all, I'm back. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do another roll of die reading to reading for you guys. We had Scorpio on the last on the last reading. Let's see who gets this time. A Scorpio. I'm not gonna do Scorpio again. Ooh, what is this? This is Aries. Okay, Aries. Let's see. Let's see. I'm not picking all those up. I saw Moonlight. I think I'm going to go ahead and take this Moonlight card. Hmm. There's a Moonlight, an Owl, the Fairy. Here, what am I getting off of this card? I hear pay attention to your dreams. Look, wishing well. Some of you could be wishing on a star under the moonlight but here i'm also hearing pay pay attention to your dreams the answer to what you seek is in your dreams okay also with this moonlight card i feel like something is hidden there may be something that's going on around you that's hidden or something that you don't see coming it's a, a energy of unknown this could be also you looking for answers because I see seven of swords under the back. Let's see. Let me message your spirit. Three of Pentacles. Oh, what is this? What is this for my Aries? What is this? I don't want to say. I got a message, but I don't want to say, y'all. This could be a business opportunity that's coming towards you that you don't see. Hmm. This could be someone wanting to work with you. Whether in business or on a connection. Again, Six of Pentacles come out. This Six of Pentacles is hot today. Somebody's thinking about how to logic. Somebody's thinking logically about how to bring your offer. An offer of working together. Could be in a part partnership or a business venture. I'm feeling heavy. Partnership. And actually having an equal give and take connection. This is someone that held back their emotions from you. But I feel like, yeah, because 51 reduces to 6, which is the number of the lovers. I feel like you already knew this, though. Because you have an intuition. And then Queen of Swords, she's smart. It's not much you can get over on her. That's air energy. You have Pentacles here. Ace of Cups. A water energy. Okay, Aries. The world. Yeah, someone wants to be. The world speaks to endings, but also new beginnings. Also new beginnings. <laughs> the Hermit. Somebody, it's something. Mm -hmm. I see, like with this owl, you already knew the hermit. 
someone deep went within. Huh. You know what I heard? Somebody has chosen their path. What's this Six of Pentacles about? Somebody's following their light. Somebody's on their path. And the path is leading them straight to you. Nine of Wands. They're a little defensive though now. So, you have to get this person a little... I feel like they slowly but surely open it, opening up. He ain't gonna be able to stay behind that pole forever. That stick. Cause someone wants to give equal, they're a little guarded. I feel like this person could have been someone that was taken advantage of in the past. Eight of Pentacles. It came out in a reverse, which upright it speaks to working together in reverse. Um, the message I get though. You see, they're thinking logically how to bring this Ace of Cups offer. Because I feel like at this point, this may be all this person has is the love. Their finance, finances may be huh, trapped. So they're thinking. Queen of Swords. You may... The star. Mm -hmm. And I say they want to come in and want to work on it. This person. I said, didn't I say wishing on a star? Did I say that here? I think I did. And guess what? Here's the star. But also, if you pay attention when I say it, someone has chosen their path. You see the hermit? He follows that light. He follows that light in that lantern. And what's in the lantern is the star the hermit houses the star energy houses the star in his lantern and i said this person is following their path their path is leading leading them straight to you this is what they've been thinking logically about like this is my wish come true okay again 51 reduces to six which is the number of the lovers come on cards Will of Fortune. Will of Fortune. Wishing on a star. And those wishes will be granted. And if it, this is not a love situation, this is just talking about a singular energy. This is somebody that just stepped on their path. They're not just stepped on the path, but they're choosing to take action toward their divine light. It's going to be some good fortune coming out of this, though. Some truth. Somebody's, hmm. Somebody's speaking their truth. The sun. Ace of Cups with the sun. I don't know why I heard a literal a literal son. Someone may be having a baby. And I feel like the defensive energy right here is because this person may be feeling like this is too good to be true. This may be you may be dealing with a person that's not used to having good things. So they're a little guarded. But listen, they coming. You may just need to be patient with this person. Because Queen of Swords, she gets life. She, this is someone who's been through things. Also, with it being clarified about a star, that's, that's patient. It's patient. 
the star energy is a patient energy death yeah and you need to be patient with this person because this person is going through a transformation so this connection as you know it as well as this person is going through a transformation so everything that's being incorporated and in, you see the more you heal and transform the more vulnerable vulnerable you you become so if you notice this ace of cup is pouring out with emotion love this is something that may be new for this person so it's gonna take them a little pay a little it take you take them a little time and you're gonna you're gonna have to be patient with this person but i feel like this is just your energy already with the star energy i feel like you have nothing but patience for this person because it takes a while for this world to turn y'all and you have the nine and then you went to the ten the hermit and the will because this person has chosen their path they have decided with head and heart that this is where they want to move towards and because they are aligned the universe is making it happen. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Let me see. Let me get that guidebook. 51. 51. Moonlight. Your intuition allows you to see beyond the mundane, logical, and analytical. Follow it. Didn't I say somebody was fighting their light? Okay. Moonlight. Beacons. Come and trust your intuition to lead you into places that may not seem logical. And this person, you're dealing with a logical thinker. But the thing about this connection is, it's not some, anything that you that's logical. <laughs> this love is not logical. It's love. It's a spiritual connection. Okay, anyway. Your hunches will be right on target. Resist second-guessing yourself. For your alternative perception is especially sharp right now. You can see beyond the surface of things and truly read between the lines. This is a good time to use oracle cards or other systems of divination to gain information. Remember that the language of intuition is a symbolic one. It comes subtly through a hunch a tingling a clear sound or an animal or object crossing your path spirit is sending you messages to help you now success is yours if you follow the signs just what i said somebody is choosing to follow their lights and because of that it's gonna lead them to success the star with the will like i said this is somebody's dreams coming true whether this be in a relationship or if this is not a relationship read this is just in your life in general before i started recording this y'all um i heard angel numbers angel numbers angel numbers and yesterday i got this new deck in the mail angel number messages because i feel like right now whoever this reading is resonated for you could be getting a lot of signs and synchronicities you could be um seeing spirit animals like you you could have animal guys like it could be dragons eagle spirits um you could see birds blue jays red birds cats i feel like that's my spirit animal <laughs> um some of you could even have a connection to dogs i don't know why i heard horses and i say ponies fairies an owl the number six may be significant but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull one of these cards. An angel numbers card. And then I'm going to read the message. And then I'll be the eater of the reading for y'all, Aries. Remember to follow your intuition. Like you're spot on these days. And you have a major, a lot of major arcana here in your spread. So, major arcana are faded events. No matter what you do or what anybody else does, they're going to happen. Sure, it may come with delays, but it's coming. So let me just get a get an angel number, and I'm gonna give you all the message, and that'll be the end of the reading. Thank you all for watching my videos. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, thank y'all who support me. Hmm. 
you are a constituent worker with a knack for coming up with creative ideas and turning them into something real. An optimistic but practical outlook keeps you determined and on track as you work steadily towards your goals. I am confident. Didn't I say someone was thinking logically? Number 13 may be significant. You may be born on the 13th of the month. Doesn't have to be. But like I said, this person or whoever you, you if this is you or, your, or a person that you're dealing with, I said this person is going through a transformation, the situation, and a death card is number 13. And this is also 13. So that's double confirmation. This could be love and life. I'm feeling both. Whoever this is resonating for, it could be either or, but it could be both. And it says, I am confident. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Aries. Bye.